Darling, you know, you really shouldn't have waved that flag. My dear, how awful. Why not? Well, it's blue. That means he's to stop next lap. Oh, no. Can I wave a blue flag? My dear, you know you do. Like it, love it, need it, bad. Take it, own it, steal it, fast. Boy, stop playing, grab my ass. Tell me to look for the light and I'll break your jaw. Shed it, save it, keep it, push it. Why you beating round the bush and knowing you want all this? Boom. Never knock it to you. Yeah, What are you doing? Don't walk on my roof. You're fantastic, you know that. But I want to hear you sing till your lungs give out. It goes this ain't a scene, it hits a house price. This ain't a scene, it hits a Just like the dog, everybody. This ain't summer of 1963, when everybody called me baby and it didn't occur to me to mind. Go everything was supposed to be bigger in America. Is this why you overcompensate with these massive cars? No, no. It's no use, Joe. Please Joe, we've got to have it out. No, I have loved you ever since I've known you, Joe. I couldn't help it. And, and I tried to show and you wouldn't let me, which is fine. No. But I must make you here now and give me an answer because I cannot I go on like this any longer. Please, I need to. I love it. Most of Please do me the honor of accepting my I love you. I've loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance, on every walk, every time we've been together, and every time we've been apart. I do not know. You do not have to say. I do not think there is anything else to say. But I love you too. To meet a beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend and the most beautiful of women is something entirely apart. Oh, I am tired of pretending. And I cannot continue acting as if I, as if I do not love them. Because I do. I love all of them. Even the, the parts that you believe are, are too dark and too shameful. Every scar. Every flaw. Every affection. I love you. Thank you.
In my church, we don't believe in Mormons. You have to be a real low-life piece of shit to get involved in politics. State, kill him. I'm going to save my dad's life. You talk about a scheme? How's that for a long-term scheme, bitches? Uh, you guys all better eat a dick, cause Sweet D beat the system. <laughs> I might even rule the world one day. Rule the world, huh? Yeah, if that happens, I'll blow myself. <laughs> Very clear about something. <laughs> this literally means nothing to me. Somebody gets hurt. That's ridiculous. I'm just palling around with the guys. How's anybody going to get hurt? I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. 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 I got soul, but I'm Why the fuck did no one tell me a gazillion celebrities I love remade The Princess Bride shot for shot at home on YouTube now, directed by Jason Reitman during COVID to benefit the World Central Kitchen, huh? Well, let's review it, I guess. This is just incredible. Absolutely made my week. It's so nice to see that basically every human being loves this movie as much as I do. I hope to God they never remake this as an actual studio production, but if they do, I approve Adam Sandler as the grandfather, Paul Rudd or Chris Pine as Wesley, runner-up going to Caitlin Deaver, Zazie Beetz as Buttercup, Carrie Elwes as Prince Humperdinck, 
think? And no, seriously. Diego Luna or Pedro Pascal as Inigo. Dave Bautista as Fezzik. Patton Oswalt as Vicini. Fuck King Batch. I fucking hate him. BJ Novak as Count Rugen. Seth Rogen as Miracle Max. And Jennifer Garner as the Booing Woman. Well, my favorite part by far was Rob Reiner, the original director of Princess Bride, as the grandson at the end, giving a final goodbye to his dad, Carl Reiner, who died two days after filming this. It's so sad, but so cute. So four out of five stars for me, and follow my Letterboxd account link to my bio for more. I learned later that the people who in, who wrote and created Blue's Clues were sold on me. They were like, the weird guy. We want the weird guy. But Nickelodeon was like, we don't like the weird guy. They wanted someone conventionally handsome. I was like, what? oh. You know, they, they wanted like a heartthrobby boy next door kind of thing, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, but so it was down to me and just a couple other people for the gig. And uh, what they did was they, they, re they recorded me and then they, showed the t they recorded us all and they showed the tapes to children. And, uh, you know, when like Heartthrob Guy did it, he was like, hey, which one's the triangle? <laughs> oh, thanks. Right? Kids were like, That one. It's over there. But when they, when they showed them my tape, and I was like, will you help me? Kids were like, yes, we have to help this guy. Like, <laughs> he needs me. You know? <laughs> and they were like jumping around the room. They were like touching the screen and like climbing over each other. So I don't know how old everyone in the room is, but if you grew up on Blue's Clues, you got me the job. So, thank you. <laughs> I don't care about that. Slow down. Grand so, what's the verdict? I am an autumn. Interesting.